Productivity Plus is an add-on you can add to Mastercam Mill, and it creates the ability for you to put logic and feedback and, and you know, uh, a lot of automation in your design. I want to go through one specific one where we're using a probe. So to create a probe toolpath, we're going to uh, find the offset, finding the location of this, uh, this uh, fixture. We can create a probing toolpath, and the probe itself shows up as a tool. And what's new this year is that there's going to always be at least one sample part, one sample probe, one sample machine that you can use when you first get started. So if, to build your very first one after you get Productivity Plus, you're not going to be spending a lot of time searching around for it or uh, uh, setting it up before you can start kind of playing with it. So this is the, the sample probe that comes with it. Now, obviously, I would, if I had a machine, I would uh, set up the probe geometry and the tool offset, but um, I'll just go ahead and keep the defaults because I'm kind of just running through this. And what I'm going to use the probe for is to locate this fixture. I see that circular face down there? That's a circular measurement. And so I will say measure a circle and then click the face. Now you can click the face or the edge. A lot of enhancements with respect to what is an allowable selection in 2020. And then that becomes an entity that I can feed back into, in this case, updating the WCS on my machine. So I will uh, install or clamp up my fixture. I'll run this toolpath to probe the fixture and locate it so I know exactly where it's at. And then the tool paths from there will cut the part on the second operation ready to go. There's a lot of other things that Productivity Plus can do um, that are really powerful and most of them uh, involve some kind of automation of your system. Um, but the tool path shows up if you've never done this. It shows up just as a regular tool path and it's visible in the same uh, area as all your other tool paths. If you go to post this, when you post it out, there's going to be kind of an additional step that you need to do to work with that Renishaw probe. So I'm going to post it as I normally would, and then this extra step is going to come up where it asks me for a Renishaw machine file. So a default Renishaw machine file is now available with the installation of Mastercam 2020. So you can kick it out with a default information, customize it from there once you get ready to roll in production. Uh, the post processor shows all the macros needed for a FNUC control, and you're off to the races. So Productivity Plus uses those probes for things like offsets. Uh, you can do in-process inspection. You can uh, check for scrap. Uh, I don't know if anybody saw an example years ago that we did that had a, uh, a, a Productivity Plus uh, macro that would measure a part and check to see how big it is. And if the part was within tolerance, it would continue on. If it was out of tolerance, it would update the tool offsets automatically. And then that out of tolerance part, if it was too big, it would rerun the machine. That was the logic was set up to help it rerun the machine and, and, and get the, the part back within tolerance. Or if the part was out of tolerance and it was too small, that part cannot be reworked, it can't be saved. So it was programmed, logic was set up to say scrap and actually you know, write in there or exit out or whatever uh, that part so that all scrap parts are caught early and labeled appropriately. So these things that you're going to have to do every day, all day anyways, can be put into the Mastercam code and let them take care of it for you. If that's something that you're interested in, let us know. There's a lot of uh, capabilities there.